Okay, howdy folks. We're going to talk today a little bit about the uh, Moffett 12 pounder experimental Navy breech loader. <clears throat> this is a gun that was made, a cannon that was made to replace the idea anyway was to replace the Dahlgren heavy 12 pounder boat howitzer with a breech loader and the government provided funding in about 18, late 1860s for experiments with breech loaders and Robert Moffat was one of the winners uh, by his submission and he suggested making two different guns for the Navy to replace both their uh, rolling heavy field artillery, which is the 12-pounder uh, smoothbore like this one, and the 3.4-inch rifle. Uh, both the original weapons were bronze. Uh, the rifle didn't last very long because the bronze was a little bit too soft to serve as a rifled gun the way it was supposed to do. Uh, the 12-pounder heavy was a very uh, highly favored weapon, but everybody wanted to be able to shoot it a little faster. So Tom and Butch, uh, from your left, Tom's on your left, Butch is on your right, are going to help us demonstrate uh, the experimental Moffett breech loading smooth bore 12 pounder. Now, we don't have the right Dahlgren carriage for this. Uh, we had one available, but that got sold at auction. Uh, so, uh, we do have a display stand which you could probably fire blanks off of, uh, possibly light loads with uh, uh, projectile, I don't know. But anyway, uh, here it is. Let's get up and take a closer look. <clears throat> it's a huge, heavy forging, and everything is forged in one solid piece, except the trunnion band right here, and the breech strap, which is what locks the breech in place. There's an operating lever, which we've uh, more or less faithfully reproduced that uh, rat tail looking thing down there. Here's the breech block which is lined with copper so that it'll hold up better with the uh, blast from the vent and uh, you see the extractor it has a cartridge extractor you see the extractor well and there's the smooth bore barrel which is actually quite smooth for something this old. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, let's take a look all the way around and pretty soon we're going to demonstrate it. Now what we use for cartridge cases is a cut down US 90 millimeter cartridge cases and these are easy to get. My company sells them quite reasonably. They're made out of steel. You can also get brass ones if you like, but these happen to be steel. Uh, here's, a, uh, here's a cut down one. Uh, it only, you could do uh, two or three of these an hour if you had the proper equipment. Uh, you see we've uh, gone ahead and made a little recess for the extractor there. You can turn it down all the way if you want so that you don't have to worry about how it's oriented when you push it in the breech. But we're going to go ahead and load, simulate loading one round. Of course you'd have powder in this and you'd have a projectile, <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and dry fire uh, one round and then extract it and show you uh, that this piece really works quite well for something for, from about 1870. <clears throat> now go ahead and uh, show us, Butch, how the uh, cartridge case loads in there. See what he's doing? He's pushing it in and going to go ahead and close the breech using the lever provided. That's what Tom's going to do. Okay, now go ahead and eject the case using the lever, and Butch is going to catch it. Now, isn't that cool? That's a lot easier than getting everybody hands in the way of the muzzle and everything like that with the muzzle loader. Uh, that was a little clumsy. Do you want to go ahead and try loading that and ejecting it again? Yeah. yeah. Very so good. So you don't want any more about it right there. Okay. Go ahead and uh, try it again. Okay. Cool. So that uh, weapon really works pretty well, and you could get quite a few rounds off uh, 
per minute with this system if you had a good crew and a well-trained crew. Just like these guys, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Uh, go ahead and try it again. We'll get a bunch of these loading nice pictures. Excellent. That really works slick, huh?